Here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Despite all the sunshine out there today, temperatures struggling to get out of the upper 30s. Providence getting to a whopping 41 degrees, and it's a little milder tomorrow. But those breezes will be back, so the wind chills will be in the 30s for most of the day. So no big break in our temperatures tomorrow. Some changes later on during the week. We have a chance, if you can believe this, of actually making it to 50 degrees. That's around normal for this time of year. Haven't seen temperatures that warm in quite a while. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not showing any precipitation as we scan the skies over southern New England. In Providence right now, the temperature is 31. Winds are out of the west at 8 miles an hour. It stays breezy overnight and then the winds kick up once again as we go into tomorrow. 29 in Taunton right now, 33 in New Bedford, 28 in Smithfield, and 31 in Westerly. Most spots getting down to the low 20s tonight. Some spots though in the suburbs, New Bedford, Smithfield getting down into the teens. All right, a storm heading towards Washington, D.C., bringing about an inch of snow there. This storm will stay down to the south. However, sometimes when storms miss us just to the south, we get some moisture which leaks into southern New England. That's what happens tomorrow. It's not a big deal, though. In fact, we can go hour by hour with the future cast. Keep in mind, the white will represent the high, thin clouds. Notice by 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, we have the sunshine out, but some of those high, thin clouds may sneak in, sneak in across the south shore, places like Westerly, Newport, Jamestown. But again, spots north of Providence may see the bright blue skies for most of the day despite a few of those fair weather cumulus clouds popping up and then any clouds that are around across the south shore moving out by late afternoon so it's a nice bright day for the most part you'll need the shades but also that jacket once again because of those winds overnight 27 degrees at midnight three o'clock in the morning 24 degrees and by five o'clock we're down to 21 tomorrow morning a chilly start again by nine o'clock we're up to 34 degrees and a few high clouds around 11 o'clock in the morning 40 year temperature and then by tomorrow afternoon mid 40s i mean some spots may make it close to 50 degrees but those breezes will say you know what it's not going to be very comfortable wind chills staying in the 30s in fact those winds will be out of the west Northwest at around 10 to 15 miles an hour with some gusts up to 30. Northern Rhode Island temperatures staying in the low to mid 40s with 44 in Slatersville, Pasco at 43. And for eastern Massachusetts, we'll see temperatures in the mid 40s as well. 46 New Bedford, Taunton, 46 Middletown, a little cooler at 44 degrees with a few of those high thin clouds in the morning. And again, those winds will be gusty at times. All right, seven day future cast 46 for Monday, 48 for Tuesday, so we get close to 50 there. And then on Wednesday, increasing clouds, chance of some showers Wednesday into Thursday. We could also mix that with a few snowflakes. Right now, it doesn't look like a, look like a big storm. And the timing is very tricky with that storm system, so we'll continue to update you on that. Friday, maybe Saturday, we finally see the 50s in the forecast. Of course, you can uh, find us on iTunes with our new iPhone app. Just wear your glove or your mitten tomorrow so your <laughs> fingers don't get frozen when you're holding that iPhone app tomorrow. We should not be talking about gloves and mittens. People. I know. It's March. It's we almost need, April. Hopefully, we can get rid of those and bring out the baseball gloves, but All it's a right. slow process. Thanks, Pete. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, the Red Sox and Twins...